Okay, so I'm just going to go through this um, Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 13.2.7, which is using the ping and trace route commands to test con network connectivity and troubleshoot errors across this network. <clears throat> so when you upload the, the activity, you get um, an instruction list um, to work through. Now I'm going to miss some of these steps just to speed the video up, but um, we'll get the gist, gist of it from the, the commands I'm entering. So um, one thing I have done is from this network addressing table, you, you'll notice there's, there's areas missing or there's a network addresses missing. Um, so it looks in the scenario is, which it commonly happens in industries, that someone's left this network um, unconfigured or incomplete. So we need to solve that problem. So it's looking to me like at this stage, there's going to be an issue connecting across the routers. So someone's left it un unattended and, and incomplete. Um, notice the passwords of the routers are going to be the user exec password is Cisco and the privileged exec password is class. So <clears throat> if I just close that down um, and start this activity. So step one is asking us to um, get the IP configuration from, from PC1. So if I go to PC1, put on command prompt and type the command IP config slash all. Um, I get all the IP address information. So I'm going to start copying these and, and, and building my spreadsheet up. So again, we're on PC1 here. So I've got the IP address. I need the subnet mask. So notice it's not the default subnet mask. Um, spreadsheet. And then I also need the, the default gateway. Okay, so I need to do the same activity for PC3. So IP config slash all. Not so I get some different numbers now, so different IP addresses. them into the PC3. So this is common when you're working with um, large networks that you have full um, you know, documentation into all the IP addresses using, especially when using static IP addresses, because um, it does aid with troubleshooting if anything goes wrong. Okay, so we've got our IP addresses of our PC and the default gateway for PC1 and PC2 now, it's just asking now to test connectivity between the two. So if I go on PC1 and ping that um, that PC3 IP address, which was 10.10.1.18, ping 10.10.1.18. <clears throat> okay, so it's saying the destination host unreachable, so I can't currently communicate from PC1 to PC3. So it's hitting the router by the looks of it. So if we, if we look at our um, IP, IP address list or IP table, we've got 10.10.1.97, which is router 1. So it's getting to router 1 and it's not going any further. So it also want, the activity also wants us to do the same for PC3. So again, if I ping PC1, which was 10.10.1.98, 10 10.1.98, 10 so again, the destination's unreachable, so, so three can't go to one and one can't go to three. So again, looking at our um, addressing table, dot 17 is the address of, of, of uh, router three um, on the gigabit um, ethernet interface zero slash one. So um, again, this is hitting this R3 and not going any further. So we can sort of formulate that the issue is going to be in this middle range. So it's not 100% necessarily to do with router two. Currently, we need to do a bit more investigations because it could be the ports on the opposite side of, of R1 and, and R3 that's causing the problem. <clears throat> so the next step is to um, run a trace route 
um, from PC1 to PC3. So how we do this is again we just go into PC1 command prompt and type that the trace route or trace RT and then type the IP address of, of um, PC3. So here it's hitting that, so a hop each route of the hit, um, you'll get a different address if the network's working correctly. Um, so it's hitting that first um, interface and, it, and it's not getting any further. So this can go on you know, 30 times and um, we'll just get the same information. In a, in a large network you'd get a number of different um, IP addresses being populated if it was working. So we're not gonna sit here and watch it go down to 30. So we hit Control C, it cancels that, um, and then we'll do the same on, on PC3. So trace RT and then the, the IP address of PC1, which was dot nine eight. <coughs> so again, it looks like there's a problem. So again, it's hitting the 17, which is this interface on R3. Um, and, and it's not getting any further so again I'm not going to sit here and watch it go all the way down to 30 um, I'll cancel that um, so the next activity the, uh, that it wants us to do is to click on R1 the router so again this is where we're going to need our passwords that hopefully we remember so the, the, the first password is um, Cisco oops and then if I type enable, and then the next password was class. Okay, so I'm in now. So it wants us to um, do the um, show interface, so IP interface command. So show IP interfaces, interface brief. Um, we'll get um, a list of current address ports. So we've got a gigabit ethernet, IP address of 10.10.197 and the serial of, of .1.6. So that's for R1. So if we go back to our table, R1, 9, 7 and 6. So that's matching. Um, and then if we just do one step further and do a short IP route, um, so here again on a, on a on large network with a lot with a lot of devices connected you'll get a lot of information here um, essentially it's showing you here what the codes are which are local um, local uh, subnet and then the connected devices with them whether it's uh, static or not so in this this instance we've just got um, the connected devices of, of 1.4 and then another connected device of, of 10.10.1.96 the local addresses of, of, of dot six and dot nine seven as well so it's asking us to record that information um, so you can make a note of them um, and do the same for for r3 so if we do the, the same commands um, again our passwords hopefully the same so it was cisco and then enable and then class and then we're in. So again, it was show IP interface brief. So we've got um, for for this R three router three interface, we've got ten dot ten dot one dot seventeen for the gigabit Ethernet, and we've got ten dot ten dot one dot ten for the serial port. So if we go to R three seventeen and ten, so we're looking okay there. Um, let's go back to it and then um, IP. Sorry, show IP root. Okay, so we've got our connected devices of 1.8 um, and 1.16. So one's obviously the PC and, and the other's the port. And then we've got the, um, the subnets of, or the local addresses of 1.17 and 1.10. So again, this would have a lot of information. Um, on the on a, on a large network right okay so we close that down so we can't see any problems so far so let's just run the same commands on on this route r2 so again it was um cisco and then class and then um show ip interface brief 
So serial 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1 on R2, R1.2 and 1.9. So here's the problem here on R. Um, IP address table we've got 1.5 and 1.9 so it doesn't doesn't match currently because that's saying 1.2 and 1.9 so here's where the, the problem is is that our, our route is incorrectly configured so if we change that now to just to, to match what we've got on our um, on our IP address table so if we go to configure terminal Um, and then we want to get to that interface. Um, interface serial, and it was zero slash zero slash zero. So I'm on that port now, and then I'm going to give it the correct IP address from our um, IP address table. 10.10.1, what was it again? Is it dot, dot five we want? So, um, yes, it's zero 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 ten dot one dot five, and then we must make sure we have this, the the right subnet mask. So dot two five two. So two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two. Okay, so if we go exit and exit to get back to the beginning. Okay. Um, so is this port open currently? Um, let's do um, show IP interface brief. Okay, so port's open. Um, it's working. It's 1.5, so it's matching. We're now we're currently matching our um, our IP address table. So now we just need to verify the connection. So is, have we fixed this problem? So if I press the up arrow, I should be able to go to the, the ping command I used previously. So I'll just start that again so you can see. So the, the trace route one um, and then the ping one we want. Okay, so we've got now a working reply from PC3. So we're, we're in business. If we look at the trace route now, it's also showing the hops. So the four different networks we're working on. Um, so just so we know there we've got one network here, two between these two routers, three between these two routers and then four in this area here. So remember routers separate networks. Okay, so let's see if we can do it the other way as well. So I'll go to the command prompt and then press the up arrow to the ping. Okay, brilliant. So we've got, again, we can connect back from PC3 to PC1 and let's show our trace route. And we are, we're in business. We've got a working connection now. So we've solved that problem. All our customers should be happy now. So let's just go into this, um, this other task we've got about the IP version six. So that can get a bit more complicated. So this wants us to um, click on PC2 an open command prompt and then we're looking for the version 6 config situation at this time so IP version 6 config slash all so remember IP config is for version 4 only <clears throat> okay so we need to get this information into our addressing table so we're on PC2 Okay, so we've got a default gateway um, and IP version 6 address in our table for PC2. So let's do the same for PC4, it wants us to do. So again, IP version 6 config slash all. So again, let's get this. So we're on PC4. Get it into our spreadsheet. It does 
something like that merge cell. Um, but anyway, it'll have to work. And then again, our default gateway, I'll get that in there. Okay, so we've got our um, table complete. So now it wants us to, um, let's see what it wants us to, to test the connectivity between PC2 and PC4. So similar to before, so um, on PC2, we need to ping, um, we need to, we need to ping PC4. So, um, ping and then let's get that because I don't want to type that whole thing in okay so let's see what happens here Okay, so we've not got a connection here. Um, it's just timing out, so. Um, right, press, um, okay, so we've got four lost packets. So we've, we've not got a, a connection at all. So if I go on to uh, router three, for example, and type show, IP version six interface brief. Okay, so does this match what we had previously? Um, so on our <coughs> spreadsheet, we should have um, for root three, I've got the correct IP address. Um, We've got um, a default gateway of dash three. Um, is that what we want? Do, do, do. So our three default gateways dash three. Okay. So the default gateway is okay. Let's have a look what it's set to on PC four. Um, so if we go into IP configuration, so. That's the problem there. So we've, as you can see, we've got the default gateway here. It's dash two, but if we look on um, router three, um, the default gateway for that network is, is, is dash three, so FE80 um, three. So that, that's gonna be a problem. So that can't communicate because the default gateway is currently um, not configured correctly. So if we change that to um, three, and then close that down. Let's see if we can run this command now. Okay, so get and we've got a working connection now. So again, these again we'll try um, pinging it the other way just so we know. So I'll copy the PC two um, <coughs> PC two IP version six address. Um, that one from there so we know it's working both ways yep okay so we're, we're cooking now um, we've got um, all of our networks working now and can, can interact with each other so um, that's a successful task complete <laughs>